Hello, I'm Dr. Vidya, consultant, Shekhar Eye Hospital. Today, I'll be talking about episcleritis and scleritis. Coming to episcleritis, it's an inflammation of the episcleral layer, which is a loose connective tissue between the conjunctiva and sclera. Episcleritis can be of acute presentation and idiopathic. It's generally unilateral and sometimes can be bilateral also in presentation. Most commonly seen in young to middle age group. Uh, nearly 30 to 40 percent of episcleritis patients can have association with the systemic conditions also. Here the patients generally present with redness, mild ocular discomfort and normal visual acuity. Uh, it can either present as nodular form which is like localized or diffuse form. Hence, any patients with episcleritis has to be uh, examined detailedly and if suspected of any systemic involvement, a detailed laboratory investigation has to be done and if needed, has to be referred to the concerned physician for management. Coming to the treatment of episcleritis, it's of topical steroid medications and oral NSAIDs medications. And in episcleritis has to be differentiated from other conditions which almost mimics like this, such as uveitis, conjectivitis, pinginculitis, and scleritis. Uh, a, detail, a proper history and detailed examination helps us to rule out each of these conditions. When it comes to episcleritis and scleritis, it can be differentiated by uh, installing phenylephrine eye drops. After installing phenylephrine eye drops in episcleritis, there will be blanching of the vessels. Whereas in scleritis, you don't see any blanching of the vessels. This is one of the important differentiating step for uh, episcleritis and scleritis. Coming to scleritis, Scleritis is severe ocular inflammation involving the scleral layer. Sclera is the outermost covering, lay, outermost covering layer of the eye. It's most commonly associated with systemic conditions. It, again, it can be of unilateral and bilateral presentation. In, in this uh, condition, patients present with severe redness, pain and uh, may have decreased vision also. Scleritis can be of two types, anterior scleritis and posterior scleritis. Uh, Scleritis can be involved with systemic conditions like collagen vascular disorders or autoimmune or sometimes with few infectious conditions also. Coming to the clinical features, it is like anterior, scleral, uh, scler anterior scleritis, it can be of nodular or diffuse or necrotizing. In no nodular form, uh, the inflammation and redness, everything is more of like uh, localized and well defined. And when it comes to the diffuse anterior scleritis, the congestion of vessels and inflammation is little extensive and here you don't see any kind of blanching of the vessels after installing phenylephrine drops also. Coming to the necrotizing anterior scleritis, it's a, a, with a patient generally present with severe redness, inflammation and it's most commonly associated with some systemic condition also. Uh, the last one is like posterior scleritis, here the patients present with redness pain and decreased vision. So, the uh, most common diagnostic test for posterior scleritis is through B scan, showing the characteristic T sign. So coming to management part of the scleritis is generally uh, oral steroid medications along with topical steroid medications also tapered based on the improvement and uh, sometimes in case of severe ocular inflammation and where there is little delayed response uh, on uh, uh, oral uh, steroids also immunosuppressive agents are added. Generally mild to moderate scleritis patients respond very well to the medications. Any patients with episcleritis and scleritis associated with systemic condition has to be educated thoroughly regarding a particular condition. Thank you. Please subscribe for more eye care videos.